do you work spirituality into your everyday life? How do you do that? You have a job, maybe you work out, you know, family. It's hard to make time. Oh, I get it. Except you already have worked spirituality into your life because you are a spiritual entity. You are a, you are a soul. You are not just a human. You just are in a human body. Today, something really interesting happened because at, in a high stress environment, where it is very difficult to truly be in deep meditation. Someone needed energetic help from me and I had to intervene. So I had to get very Zen and very fast and they needed my twin flames help because together, I mean, just coming into union when our energy starts coming together. So that's why I want you to feel silence because that's what came to me. That's what spirit guided me to feel. And when you feel silence and you've practiced meditation a lot, A lot of times I'll feel the pressure here that's shifting conscious dimensions. Um, but immediately it takes me to up here, which is like right on the verge of Samadhi. And um, it was incredible. Just the way that you can feel your twin flame, like they're right there next to you, like you can talk to them. I saw my soul. Spirit showed me what my soul looks like in space. And on that note also, when you're meditating, you want to think about just your soul floating in space and there's nothing around you silence and peace because that that silence your soul feels peaceful my cat is on crack today too much catnip um the twin flame thing is very difficult. Like I told you in my other videos, you get pulled together just so you can trigger each other and go and grow more on your own. Until you've completely ascended and you don't wanna take time to actually suffer through that, just do the inner work. Um, but for me, it disturbs my peace sometimes. And so I know that what I'm doing is tricky and people don't do it. And it's kind of a learning as I go thing. I rarely make a mistake twice. Like I said in my other videos, if you are the feminine polarity, if you are the chaser, you go up, they come up. If you fall, they fall. So when I got in my just a sad place for a little bit, 
and I fell, they fell, and they started their toxic behavior again because I fell. So you keep going up. And it is so hard, and I know, so hard to break yourself out of a bad mood. The One of the key components to having a soul ascension is feeling happiness. Because presence is great. It's imperative. You need it. But that happiness piece added in, straight up. Because samadhi is bliss. And you want to vibrationally match what you're trying to get into. So if you are present out of your mind and you're constantly thinking thoughts that make you feel happy so that you have happy energy around you, and Kurt talks about that and it's made a huge difference for me, that energy will take you right into samadhi. So... If you don't like how you feel, you can suffer through it, or you can force a change. And you have the power to change the way that you feel and the way that your life is. I was watching someone posting on Instagram talking about, oh, everyone thinks they're a witch, and just because they got sage from wherever, and I had to chime in because every human possesses the capacity to have a soul ascension and to get in touch with the universe and manifest. People have come up with all these religions in an attempt to have a connection with the universe, with divine energy. This, none of your lives are supposed to be the way that they are. It can always improve, even if you're happy. This isn't brain surgery. This, this is a creation of someone's mind going fucking crazy, okay? Because you're supposed to be able to just want something and have it and feel happy and at peace. This universe is so simple that it's, it's complex to people because it's it's just it's so cut and dry you are a soul inhabiting a body the universe responds to your soul not your mind but the mind is an attribute of your body so you need to learn how to have a soul ascension to bypass your mind and when you do that you're like a little light going on in the world and you share that light around you feel happy you feel good you do good World peace is completely attainable. There weren't supposed to be so many complexities. It was supposed to be A, B, C. Do not talk to people about what you're working on because they will try to discourage you because they can't wrap their minds around it. And when I started this, I said waking one person. I would be happy if I woke one person up. And now I'm waking a person a day. Or more, depending on who sees my social media. The universe will bring me people who need to be guided. And while you look at me and you just see a girl, I've had many lifetimes here. And when you talk to me, you're not really talking to me. You're talking to the universe through me. Who I was before I had a soul ascension is not who I am now. Your mind completely goes away. It's useless unless you need to do math. I'm being sarcastic, but the point is that I would never go back to how I was before. You feel true self-love when you have a soul ascension.
It's just every single person wants to believe that there's something more out there than there is. And you all want that because you know it and your soul is literally screaming at you. While this stuff is advanced and it may seem like it's hard to wrap your mind around, your soul already knows how to do this. You just have to remember. And <clears throat> I had said that all humans possess the ability to have a soul ascension and manifest. And if people need physical props to clear energy out of their room, then they need practice transmuting energy. And while fakes are annoying, and trust me, people who run around like, oh, I'm going to curse this person and they're being loud about it and show offy about it, you are putting a target on your back. You are putting a target on your back. Um... because you want to brag about how great you are. But being divinely guided means that you want to help others learn. And that is something that I, I have had a lot of knowledge for a long time. And I would teach my significant others and my best friends, and that's it. And I kept my knowledge to myself because I viewed myself as it was me versus people. And after having a soul ascension, <clears throat> something was triggered where, I mean, I'd been in separation with my twin and immediately we had a connect, like that day when it started. And then I just started doing things where, like creating an Instagram for soul stuff and I was like, oh my God, people are going to think I'm crazy because I was still kind of in my mind, but I was coming out of it. And I did it anyway. And my true soul is just coming out. Because I'm not my mind and you're not your mind. You are not who you think you are. And when you feel energy pulsing through you, Nothing feels better than that. <sighs> Hearing a song that makes your body warm. Everything is energy. Something you should know is that and I, feel, I cut my mom off a lot today because she's very stressed. And she gets talking about what stressed her and I would yell at her. And I feel bad because I don't like to yell at people. Um, but I yell at myself also if I'm doing this. And you do not talk about the things that stress you because you are literally talking it into existence. You have to focus on the positive. So today, when it was chaotic, Whenever you feel chaos, you need to immediately not get sucked in. This is my mind. And you sit back into your soul and you focus inward. And it's not about how you feel. It's about the impact that you have. And if you get stressed, you are putting stress energy out into the universe. Okay, you're one person. Now take millions of people who are putting out stressed energy. Do you want to fill your world with that? One person makes a big difference. Anytime you feel anything other than happy, you immediately need to correct your thoughts. Recognize that it's your mind. You correct your thoughts so that the thoughts you're having feel good. And then you keep going on that route. Refusing to see any negativity. You only see what you want to see. Yes, you are ignoring bad things that you have manifested into your life. You did that. 
even if it's someone else's energy, you did not know how to protect yourself and now you have manifested it into your life. So you are going to ignore the bad things, focus on the good things because as you do this and as your energy rises, the faster your energy rises, the faster the happiness is going to come into your life. The more you understand clearing negative energy out, the faster you will feel happy. It's not brain surgery. It's soul stuff.